My dear sisters and brothers, a warm welcome on Palm Sunday to you. We are entering Holy Week and yes, palms, palms from very old times have been very significant. They used to welcome a king victorious after war. They would also use palms in various ways, but palms also were a symbol during the Feast of the Tabernacle as they celebrated it. It was also their harvest festival during the Jewish and it was a thanksgiving for the food that the Lord provided to them during that time when they were 40 years in the wilderness as also the food he currently provides to them during their harvest and it's a thanksgiving to the Lord for this very beautiful gift. It so signifies that now the harvest is going to begin. The harvest of souls and the Lord is entering into Jerusalem for that very purpose, that his final passion, death and resurrection will harvest souls from everywhere. Today, when we celebrate this day, we will have a reading as we go with palms and the palms are blessed. And the gospel text of today tells us that yes, Jesus used an ass and a coal because he tells his disciples, go, go out into the village and when you see an ass and a cold tied together, go and tell that man that the Lord has need of it. And yes, they untie the ass and the cold and they take it to Jesus. They put their garments on it and they move on. This tells us that adults or children, young or old, everyone is invited into the festival of Jesus where he harvests souls. And it is each one's responsibility to carry Jesus triumphantly as he goes on our behalf and he harvests souls. Another beautiful thing that we will have is the text of Isaiah, where Isaiah is not frightened. And he says, I offer my back for the lashes. I have listened to what God wants me to do. And I'm not afraid of the spit of anything that comes, but I'm listening to his word and continuing in his journey, not afraid, not going to hide my face. And that is what the Lord wants us to do in this Palm Sunday, not being afraid, but from within, cry out to the Lord and ask him for the grace that we may always be pure within, that we may relent and give up sin and follow him and also suffer for the sake of souls and add the sufferings that we go through especially as Christians, offer it for the salvation of souls. And the third point of today's reading is this. When we read the Passion, the Passion of the Cross tells us this one thing, that yes, Christ was triumphant, but if he had not gone through the struggles of his Passion and death, we would never have that Easter Sunday. And so it calls us to imitate Christ in every way, Strengthened by the Eucharist that we receive today and every day. Strengthened by that Eucharist to follow in the footsteps of Isaiah, saying that no matter what happens, we are willing to struggle to keep ourselves away from sin and also do everything in our power and capacity to lead others to that salvation. Let us thank the Lord for giving us this grace and this blessing and for having called us into his vineyard as laborers. Today, this Palm Sunday is talking to us about that invitation into his vineyard that as he harvests souls, that we too also may take souls to him and that Christ may do what he did to us, forgive the sins of others and see that we are all in paradise. Let us pray therefore for this grace and ask the Lord for the blessing that as we enter into this holy week, we might be triumphant in what we do. God bless you. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.